Hey there, welcome to the dandy do-it-yourself bathtub. So I've got my assistant Vance here today and we are gonna show you how to use this bathtub. So I've got some treats ready to go first thing. I'm gonna go ahead and have Vance get up in the tub. So I'm gonna encourage him to come up. Good boy, wait. Most. Good boy. Now before you bathe your dog, if you have a dog that has say a poodly type of coat, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the dog has been brushed out really well prior to getting a bath. The reason is any mats that you have in the dog's fur, once they get shampoo in them, will become dreadlocks. So once we have the dog in the tub, we're simply gonna go ahead and slide this door closed. So we've got a bit of a water barrier. We do have a noose that goes through just to help to keep the dog secure in the tub. So. I've already checked my water temperature. I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the water, get Vance a little used to it, have him get a couple of cookies just while he's hanging out here before anything happens. You want to do warm water, but not hot water. So I'm just checking it, feel like the temperature. I'm going to start with go ahead and just wetting his coat. So going all over, making sure that we get all of the mud and debris all the way down to the toes get the tail, the little booty feathers, get his tummy, good boy. And just keep checking your water temperature. We wanna make sure that it's comfortable for the dog. I'm gonna go through and wet his entire body. And then once his entire body is done, then I will go through and do his face. Dogs typically hate having their face washed. So if we can minimize the amount of time that we need to be doing it, the more amenable they're going to be for letting us face them. So now that his whole body is wet, what I'm going to do is take my hands and just cover his eyes as I go through and get his face wet. Be very, very careful too not to get water down in their ear canals. Um, you have a dog with chronic ear infections. I would recommend putting cotton balls in their ears to make sure that they don't get water down in that ear canal. All right, so we have a wet dog. We're gonna go ahead and grab our shampoo. Good boy. Good boy. If you think the dog is about to shake, what I can recommend is just hold them right here. This helps to keep them from moving around. Good boy, good boy. So I just keep telling him he's a good boy the whole time that he's hanging out here. There we go, starting to get a little bit of lather. Good boy, Ooh, this is the wild shampoo. I'm also just putting some of the pumps of shampoo in my hand and then working it into the coat. I like to just use my fingers, go through and get a nice little scrub. What a good boy. We want a good lather, but not too, too much shampoo because we're going to have to rinse all of this out, you know, afterwards. All right, so I'm going through, doing front legs, down between his chest. Good boy. More shampoo. Now, the shampoo that we're using is already pre-diluted, so that way it just helps to get a little bit better even coverage. What you can also do is periodically just give a little spritz to have a little more water into the coat. And once you're doing that, then you really get the shampoo to get a nice little suds. So you don't always have to keep adding more and more shampoo. Sometimes just adding a little bit of water, if you've already used quite a bit of shampoo, can help just to bring it into to life. All right, good boy. Now what I'm going to ask me to do is to turn around so that I can get to his other side. Turn. Good boy, turn. That's a good boy. All right, a few treats in there. Um, while the dog's in the tub, safety is obviously a utmost concern, so making sure that we've got a hand on the dog. If we see that they're getting stressed out and they're worried about this process, slow down, make sure they're getting treats. Clearly it's not his favorite thing, but he's being very, very tolerant right now. So what I'm trying to do is just do this as quickly as possible 
so that way we can get it over and done and move on to more fun things. We got a leg, I'm gonna have a little bit more water over here. Oh, that's a good boy. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Mm, nice smell of this wild shampoo. So now that I've got his whole body, legs, I'm gonna go ahead and do his face. So I've got a few pumps of shampoo. I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna work up and then just go around his little face. Try to get the area underneath his ears. Good boy. I know, I know what a good boy you are. Yes, yeah, turn back this way. Good boy, good turn. Okay, now that I am satisfied with the level of shampoo, it's time for the rinse. So what I'm firstly going to do is just rinse my hands to get all the shampoo off my hands. What you want to do is start with their face, start at the top of the dog, and then work down. So I'm going to cover his eyes again, go wash his head, get his ears, down get his muzzle. Making sure I'm not getting any water down in his ears. He is a dog that has ear infection issues. All right, now that we've got the face done, good boy. Just gonna start here at the top. Good boy. If you feel the dog is about to shake, put your hand right here at the top of their back. It's a good way for them just to keep from shaking. Good. And running the water just along his top line. And then what is using gravity here because we're going to start high and then work our way down. Good boy, you're being such a good boy. He is being excellent. We're going to continue to give him treats so that he is not worried about what's happening. He continues to be a willing participant. All the way down to the toesies. Good boy. Can you turn for me? Turn, turn. Oh, that a good boy. What a good turn. All right, I'm also trying to just keep the dog over top of the tub so that there's minimal amount of water um, coming onto the floor so we just keep as safe of an environment as possible. Again, starting at the top line and then working down. And I've got the nozzle head literally right on his, his skin. So that way it's getting as much water down to the skin, get that shampoo out. You want to make sure that we're not leaving any shampoo behind in the coat because that will cause the dog to have irritation. All right, once we think we've done a pretty good job of getting all the shampoo out, is shut up the water, give that boy a cookie, and then I'm just gonna feel. So nope, we still got a little shampoo here. I'm feeling his crust. I'm just feeling for like that crunchiness of soap, so that you can feel if there is still any soap left in the coat. All right, so I've got that chest. Taking my hands and just smoothing it over the dog's body taking some of that water out. All right, feels like we did a good job rolling. Thanks, good boy. All right, we have got the shampoo process finished. We're now on to the conditioner. So same thing as before, I'm pumping into my hand, taking that and then going over. Don't feel you can need to really lather the dog's coat in conditioner. Just a good once over is usually enough for most breeds. Um, just remember if you use a lot of product, a lot of times it's gonna weigh them down and so then they might have um, not quite as much gloss to their coat either. Good boy, find that balance. Hey, good boy, can I turn? Oh, turn is a great thing to teach your dog. Um, has a lot of applications. Certainly in the bathtub is definitely one of them. 
and it's easy to teach because you just have a cookie in front of their nose and you just keep teaching them that they follow the cookie as they turn one way or that they turn another way. Follow that cookie as they turn. All right, so we've got conditioner going all over now that I've got the rest of the body through the head. You guys are a good boy. And I am just real gently rubbing a little bit right in here. It's not his favorite thing to have his face wash. What a good boy. But when you sleep with your head next to my pillow, I like a clean dog. Good boy. All right, Vance is fully conditioned. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my hands first. Good boy. Yes, okay. Give him a couple more cookies. Good. All right, now that I have clean hands, those hands are again going to go over top to shield his eyes as I rinse a little warm. Also, as I'm coming down, I'm pulling the ear flaps kind of down so that they get rinsed. Good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy, man. What a good boy. Try to get a lot of that excess water out. So before he shakes, he's holding a stump. No, no, not yet. Good boy. We're thinking about shaking. Not yet. Okay. Now Vance is unfortunately not a fan of the beautiful dandy bathrobe, so I'm not going to be using one. But if you did have a bathrobe, now would be the time that you want to put it on the dog. What I'm going to do instead is just grab my towel. I'm going to put it over top the body of the dog. Hi. Start with your face. Get his face towel dried. You'll actually be going to do a lot of your drying here with the towel. Um, also notice, I know I'm trying to do this really, really quickly, but you know, we want to be 
cognizant of how much time the dog will allow us, you know, to be bathing and grooming them. So trying to do it with a, a sense of rapidness is appreciated by them. Um, if you have a dog that is trying to climb out of the tub or is really stressed out by this process, what I would recommend is trying to recruit a second person. Um, one to wash and bathe the dog, and the second one to just try to keep treats in front of their face, um, help to keep them in the tub so that they're not jumping out. You just want to, don't want for them to jump out and potentially hurt themselves. Okay, now that I am, nope, nope, you're not even. Now that I am satisfied with my towel dry, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna throw my towel on the floor, kind of picks up some of that moisture. Turn around, you wanna shake? You wanna shake it? Shake? You wanna shake, shake, shake? Shake, shake, shake? Nope, all right, I'm not gonna let him jump out. Um, we're gonna move on into the drying phase. So before we do that, uh, it's a very loud dryer. So what I'm gonna do is put this over top and tuck his ears inside. Make sure the ears are down. So that way it just protects them a little bit more. We call this a snood. And then I'm gonna grab some ear protection as well. A lot of dogs are not going to be very excited by the velocity of this dryer. So as you turn it on, start on low and then go, go higher. Make sure I'm going to go ahead and just reattach his lead into the tub too so that he is restrained and can't, can't go anywhere. Um, make sure you're getting lots of treats during this process. This dryer is loud and their hearing is way better than ours. So it's definitely an assault on the senses. So I'm going to take this off the wall. I've got an on-off switch here. Start on this one. Make sure my dog is acclimated to it. Once he's okay with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
never use the dryer on the dog's face. It's just, it's too powerful. All right, so now that he is finished, you would shake it. Oh, what a good boy. Perfect, and then we'll open the door, and he's finished with his bath. What a good boy, thanks.